I'd like to call to the stage Business Development Coordinator at Carbon Upcycling Technologies from Canada, Madison Savillo. from Carbon Upcycling Technologies in Canada. So the problem that we are solving at Carbon Upcycling Technologies is one that we all understand, we're all contributing to, and that we all feel the effects of. It's climate change and, and greenhouse gas emissions. If we took the weight of humanity and multiplied it 100 times, that is the weight of emissions that are being released every year in CO2 emissions. So at Carbon Upcycling Technologies, we have a vision of making CO2 green, not just environmentally, but economically as well. So we did this by taking gaseous CO2 and sequestering it into inorganic solids that are in a powder form. So these are often widely available and also cheap solids like graphite powder and fly ash. So basically what we have is a patented sponge. We suck up all the CO2 and we make building blocks for advanced materials. Now we're vetted for over 11 different industries, but three of our product lines that are the furthest advanced include a coating, it's an anti-corrosion coating, uh, a concrete application, which is enhanced fly ash, as well as a plastics application. It's a polyethylene nucleating agent. Now our business model includes B2B sales. We have the concrete coating, which we attract uh, contractors and manufacturers, uh, enhanced fly ash, which we try to sell to um, co concrete producers, and our plastic nucleator, which is great for injection molded parts. Now our competition, we have developed our technology in a way that makes us super competitive because of our energy consumption. We have one of the lowest technology compared to uh, other carbon utilization companies in the world. This allows us to have a higher CO2 reduction capacity, allowing us to enter 11 different markets, and we keep our costs low by using waste feedstocks. We have raised five and a half million dollars to date. This has allowed us to scale to quite a large size. In 2017, we sold our first products into market, our anti-corrosion coating, making us the youngest CO2 utilization company in the world to earn a revenue. Usually it takes about 12 years. Now we're quite excited about the traction we've earned this, this past five years. We have users of our product at grease interceptors in fast food restaurants such as McDonald's, Red Lobster and Dunkin Donuts. We've also partnered with the largest precast company in the US called Old Castle Infrastructures. We have many academic partners that have allowed us to uh, research and develop our products and our awards are something we're very proud of. We're a top 10 finalist in the Carbon X Prize. If you've heard of SpaceX, this is the carbon version. We also won the uh, Repsol Fund this past year and we'll be working with them further in the coming year as well. Uh, we've also earned the uh, Solar Impulse label for efficient solutions. Only 1,000 companies are awarded this across the world. Now our impact. So uh, CO2 derived products have a market of about $1 trillion at by 2030, projected in a, um, a McKenzie report, but our environmental act impact is something that we're very proud of. Our coating would reduce CO2 impact by 1 million tons of CO2 per year. Our enhanced fly ash, because of the use of concrete, would result in 1 gigaton of CO2 reduction per year. And our plastics application would result in a 3.7 million ton reduce CO2 as well. <coughs> now how this works for the enhanced fly ash is we take cement, we infuse our enhanced fly ash by up to 20%, resulting in concrete that is 30% stronger at a 28 day strength, and this gives us some incredible environmental impacts that are equivalent to taking 29 million cars off of the road. Now we're here to create a circular economy. We have a vision of taking the pollution of today and making the materials of tomorrow. And this is a rendering of one of our factories that we hope to see across the world. We have over 150 years of cumulative experience on our team from chemistry, engineering, sales, and directorship. And we are confident that this will allow us to move this venture forward. Now our ask today is customer validation and any interest uh, in moving this forward for strategic partnership 
in infrastructure, construction, enhanced fly ash. We know that Vietnam has a very large supply of fly ash, and we would love to use that as our feedstock and help organize that in an environmental way. Thank you. Thank you for recognition, just in time. Other question from the judges. Who's going to ask the question to Agassin? Please, please. Jean-Claude Gisse. Um, I wonder how do you actually collect the CO2? Yeah, so this is actually a big portion of our, our model. We actually don't do the capture. A lot of companies that do carbon capture don't have a way to actually use the CO2 and it's very costly. There is no reason for them to do it. We wanted to pro provide an economically viable solution to that problem by using the CO2 in advanced materials. Any other quick question, maybe? Yeah, could you talk a bit more about the sales cycle to your corporate clients? Yeah, so the sales cycle. So we sell right now into the Florida market for our anti-corrosion coating. The others we're trying to commercialize this next year. We do have a partnership with um, a local cement company to take all of the fly ash from the scale up that we'll be doing. We'll be scaling up seven fold this next year up to a seven ton per day facility. And all of that is already accounted for. So our sales cycle is just moving along, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madison. Please give her a round of applause.